Human experience upon this planet is essentially the way our sense organs perceive something. Whatever we perceive, if it is pleasant upon our senses, we experience it one way. And what we perceive, if it is unpleasant upon our senses, then that is what in our experience becomes filth. So if our surroundings are not clean, or in other words, if our surroundings are not pleasant upon our senses, the images that we create in our mind, the projections that happen upon our experiencing mechanism or the seat of our experience is unpleasant. When you create unpleasantness like this, then to go into blissful states of experience or to take charge of the seat of experience so that you can consciously generate the nature of your experience or you can consciously dictate the nature of your experience will become difficult. Spiritual process essentially means just this, that everything that you are will happen consciously. That is, your experience of life is determined by you. Because your experience of life is determined by you, whether you're peaceful or disturbed is not determined by the atmosphere. Whether you're happy or unhappy is not determined by the nature of what's happening around us. Whether you're miserable or joyful is also determined essentially by what you're doing with yourself, within yourself. If this has to happen, it is important that our sense organs are not perceiving something as unpleasant. So creating a clean atmosphere is a natural consequence of people turning spiritual. As a part of this, we have done a lot of work. In the yogic culture, shaucha is an important aspect of one's spiritual development, both physiological and the surrounding spaces. Being in a state of shaucha is very important because our cleanliness is not just within the body. Everything that we perceive through sense organs can either create filth or well-being within ourselves. Based on this, much has happened. We at Asia have created an exemplary sense of cleanliness in people around us. In all the fifty-three thousand villages in Tamil Nadu, we've brought this sense of cleanliness in what is happening there. You can see very distinctly that what it may be in other places, if you enter the places or villages where a certain amount of spiritual moments have happened, there is a certain sense of cleanliness, both of the way people are about personal hygiene and public spaces, there is a difference. Still, there is a lot to be done, but I feel the biggest lapse is there is no system to deal with the garbage that is generated in any living society. And of course, we have the problem of multiplying population, but this can be dealt with only if there are very strong non-religious spiritual movements in the country, so that people understand life is about keeping yourself clean. When this idea sinks deep into you, wanting to keep the surroundings clean is a natural consequence of this.